everyone it's Tori from Calypso Creative Planning welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new in today's plan with me video we're going to be taking a look at how I created this weekly spread in my undated customizable spiral planner which you can find in my shop so let's take a look first thing I want to do is find this particular weekly template in the template section and I'm going to put it behind last week's spread and then I'm taking a look at this sticker set which is from my March sticker collection and I don't really know what I want to do um, with this spread yet so I'm just going to start pulling a bunch of random stickers from the set that I just like that I think would be helpful because I've got a general idea but not really sure of everything. So I'm also going to pull from my navy and gold bundle. I have a matching um, dated and undated planner that matches that bundle as well as a notebook and I'm also going to pull from the digital siren healing crystals kit she has a full kit and a mini kit so for this spread I'm pulling from the full kit and once again I don't know exactly where I want to go with this so I'm just going to pull all these different stickers that I want to work with that's the beauty of working with digital planning you can do that you can pull a bunch of stickers together and you don't actually have to stick them down like paper stickers you can just throw them together and as I start pulling all these different ones together that's where my ideas come from and I'm gonna make sure to link all of these sticker sets and notebooks in the description below so make sure you check that out so these little crystals is obviously you know the main aspect of this set and what inspired me to pull together this plan and I thought the navy blues would go really pretty with the purples and the pinks of her um, crystal set so I'm just trying to pull everything I can and the gold elements I decided to go with those because of the certain washi tapes that she has in this set that has a little bit of a gold tint to it with the dark bluish purple so I thought they would go good together and since this is an undated planner I'm using some of her date stickers to go along with this resizing them to make them a little bit bigger space them out and I want to date this with the month and the year I don't always put the year on my spreads um, I don't know why I just don't always do it but for this I want to do it and throw it up there with this fun little handwriting font that I'm obsessed with right now and this is the little washi I was talking about where it's got hints of gold in with it so I think the geometric elements in these stickers go really well with the crystals and with the design of this washi particular so now I'm creating a little section over here that's gonna be like my kind of my to-do list for the week and I'm going to use the technique of cutting and pasting so that I can layer these stickers in the right order and now it's all about just figuring out what I want to go where I have a few things in mind that I know I need to plan for for the week but there's not really a lot going on with us being stuck in the house with you know social distancing and all that and I've been working from home a lot more which is great um, okay so with this the reason why I crop this sticker down is because when you're stretching out these stickers it's a lot easier to not get fuzzy edges if you crop it down just a little bit inside the line so that's what I did here and I'm creating a, a tiny tiny little kind of like a washi tape type of border and I'm going to do this in in all these different blocks going horizontal not the vertical ones but once I get it on the top two then I can just move these stickers out of the way and I can copy both of them and paste both of them at the same time and line them up so I don't have to do it all individually so it's just a handy little trick so now we have our little bordered sections and I've got to cut and paste to layer this upright so it can sit on top and now what I'm gonna do is I want to pull this sticker out 
and I'm going to block off the weekend. And so I'm going to stretch it out. Once again, I'm going to crop this down a little bit so it's inside the borders of that. I'm going to stretch this out to fill in the two days for the weekend. Sometimes it's, it's fun just for an, an extra little element to block off this, um, this section. So once I get it sized right, I have to move it out of the way so I can get everything out from under it. And these I'm going to cut and paste once I've moved this back into place. So now they're on top again. And I'm a little bit of a perfectionist, so I'm going to move these around a little bit more. They're a little off. I don't know why I'm such a perfectionist about things like that sometimes. Not always, but sometimes. All right, so now I just want to like move things around, figure out what goes where. This pink is nice, but it blends in with that pink. So I'm going to pull this sticker here that's in the navy blue, but it kind of has a torn paper look. So I'm going to stick that behind this bunch of crystals. And you'll notice that I'm using the photo tool instead of the lasso tool because if you use the lasso tool, then it's going to get every photo that's in the selection. But if you use the photo tool, you can click on the photo and then just scoot it out of the way. So then you can use the lasso tool to cut and then paste. And once again, I don't when I started this, I didn't really know what I wanted to do with it, where I wanted it to, to go. So I'm just going to play around with moving things here and there until I get it just right. And sometimes it's really quick and easy to throw together a planner spread. And it takes me just like, you know, five minutes, six minutes, something like that. And other times it can take me as much as 20 minutes, depending on how indecisive I can be. I'm sure we've all experienced that. Don't really know what we want to do until we get in here. But unlike paper stickers, you can move things around until your heart's content. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just going to move things around until I figure out what I like. And it's easy to just cut and paste and layer things without actually having to cut and paste, if you know what I mean. I came from paper planning before digital planning, so it was a thing. <laughs> so much easier now with digital planning. All right, so now I think I want to do, I've got an important thing on the 15th. It's estimated taxes because I own my own business. So I'm going to mark this off as for the 15th, and I'm going to layer up these stickers that striped sticker that I put in the background, it's actually, it's, um, it's transparent on the, the white stripes so you can see through it. So it's really fun to layer that one. And this colorful box is really good for notes. You can put it anywhere. This one has a white background to it. So you can use it to cover stickers up and cover spaces. I feel like this washi tape right here is probably the inspiration behind this color scheme that I went with. So, I'm going to make it prominent by putting it in a big section at the bottom and then layering up some stickers on top of it. So I'm going to give myself a few different note boxes so that I don't have tons of things I want to plan in all of these boxes for each day. So it's nice to have just a little section of random little notes that I can use down at the bottom. So you get the function of notes and then the pretty aspect of decorating with stickers. So now I've got to move some other things around that I know I have a bill due on 14th. So I'm going to stick this little thing here for a reminder and figure out how I want to layer these up. So I'm going to start moving some of this stuff out of the way because you know, you saw I pulled in a lot of stickers. So the good thing about digital, once again, is you can just resize and push things around and until you know exactly what you want. And okay, this issue right here with screenshot, if you, you want to copy it, but it keeps giving you the option to screenshot. I've heard other people deal with this. It's not just me. So 
it's easy to, you know, you just have to do it a few times or toggle on your different switches for the lasso tool and you can get around that. Alright, so I love this little gold box. So I'm going to layer this here. And once again, I'm going to have to use the photo tool instead of the lasso tool so I can move that out of the way. And then copy and paste to put it back where it needs to go. And I love these little ribbons. I'm going to use those in my to-do list. I'm going to pull them to the side. And this is a kind of a larger version of, of these ribbons. So I'm going to use this for a special note on this day and layer it up with another one of those striped shapes. Now I get to play around with some crystals because, I mean, it is the Healing Crystal set after all. I'm going to layer up some, some different little ribbons and shapes. This is a little paint type of splash shape. I'm going to layer that up. And this cute little sticker, you're a gem. I'm going to put that here. I may end up moving that. I'm not sure about that spot, um, but it's good for now. And this little sticker is so cute. So it, once again, it's got the colors that match perfectly. So I'm going to use that and have an important note for this day. So I'm going to use this little banner and then I want to layer it with something else, something geometric. And I think this dark blue is the way to go instead of the gold on this one. I feel like the gold's a little too light with that. So I'm going to get rid of that. And now some of these things I just know I'm not going to use. So now it's good a good time to just start cleaning some of this up and now I'm going to play around with these little ribbons for my to-do list since I'm going to use this whole line section for my weekly to-do list and some of these tasks will get copied over into different days as I do them but this will be kind of like my running list for the week so now it's all about just figuring out the spacing and I want to keep these colors together, the pinks and the purples and the blues, and they, you know, they get darker as they go. So I'm going to keep that and I'm going to space these out. So there's a line in between. Super cute. Love this great little to do list. But now I think I want to copy some of these over to different days. So I'm going to move some things out of the way, rearrange a little bit and then grab these ribbons and copy them over to different days so these will be like my main priorities for the day and I can copy some more and paste them into different days as I need them so that's going to be it you guys my spread is done everything's going to be linked in the description below and I'll see you next time